Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski, founder of the Lawyers Video Studio. Today I'm continuing a series of videos that discusses common objections I get from attorneys about creating video. One common objection is, I don't want to come off as a salesman. I don't want to be a cheesy TV uh, advertising person by creating video. Well, I'll tell you something. There are plenty of video companies that will create that type of video for you. However, in the Lawyers Video Studio, I can guarantee you that is something that we do not do. My videos that I help attorneys create are all education based. What does that mean? It means that you're giving education, you're giving information that your viewers need to know. So there is no selling. And in fact, I totally discourage and I will not take on an attorney who comes across as trying to sell anything. The entire goal of getting somebody to like you, trust you, and believe in you is by giving them useful information. And at the end, they're going to have more questions. And who are they going to call? The person who they recognize has the information that they need. And if you try to sell them something, they're going to back off and not call you. And that's exactly why that does not happen here in the Lawyer's Video Studio. So that's one common objection. Also, here's another objection I get. I have to check with the Ethics Committee to see whether or not I can do this. Well, I will tell you, no matter what content you put up online, you must stay within your state's ethical rules. Absolutely. There's no going outside of it. And for me, for lawyers who participate in my program, there is no gray area. If you're going to put content online, there cannot be a gray area. Because number one, I don't want you to get into trouble. I don't want you to run the risk that you're going to get a grievance. Or that somebody's going to rely on that information incorrectly and then turn around and bring a case against you. It's simply not worth it. So the whole purpose of creating video with a practicing attorney is so that I can stop you if you happen to be eager to tell something that you know discusses either the law or something you shouldn't be talking about online, which simply requires a personal one-on-one -on -one consultation with a potential client. That's something that, as an attorney, I have the ability to do. A lot of people who are not attorneys are not going to recognize that, and if the lawyer who's creating that video doesn't see it, they may run into a problem later on. So that's it for today's video clip about some common objections I see with video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Thanks for watching.